Good evening, First Year you friends and family. It's a new season. It's a new day. Join us on Wednesdays as we connect with Christ and our youth for Bible study story time and other activities as we navigate through life with Christ. Ready, set, let's go. Saints of God, don't you know that Jesus the Christ is the good news, which is the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the New Testament of the Word of God? In John chapter 16, verse 33, the Word of God tells us, 
These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Just as in Romans chapter 8, verse 39, God tells us, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that died dum dum ba dum I once was lost, but now I'm found. Twas blind. Oh, there you are. Do come in. I have some good news for you. Oi, did Theo say good news? I do hope he's baked cookies. Come on, Belfry, let's go. Did you know that God loves you? Whoa! <laughs> It's true. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. There's just one problem that prevents this from happening. S-I-N. Sin. <laughs> Get off! People have a lot of ideas about what sin is. But it is really an archery term that means... Oof. Missing the mark. It doesn't matter how good you be. It doesn't matter how religious you are. It doesn't matter how smart you might be. For uh, every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The Bible says that we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Because of sin, we are separated from God, with no hope of ever being good enough on our own. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. When you ask Jesus to be Lord and Savior of your life, he will not only give you eternal life, but an abundant life of joy and goodness here on earth. Won't you receive him today? I once was lost, but now I'm found. Saints of God, Romans chapter 6, verse 14 tells us, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. So let's learn how we overcome sin through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Have you ever felt unsatisfied, let down? even empty after you got what you thought would make you happy. You are not alone. This puzzling feeling has been known to strike the most accomplished and wealthy people, as well as the less accomplished and less wealthy. In fact, 
King Solomon had it all, a kingdom, untold wealth, profound wisdom and knowledge. Yet after pondering his life, he said that there was nothing new under the sun. Everything was vanity. It is as if something compels us to find the elusive missing piece. We may pursue a successful career, meaningful relationships, material possessions, or even fun and entertainment. But nothing cures that mysterious, empty feeling way down inside. Why do we feel this way? The Bible shows us that God created man with three parts. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 says, May your spirit and soul and body be preserved complete. It is clear that we are not just a physical body made up of atoms. We also have a soul to think, feel, and choose. Yet hidden deep inside of us is a third part, our spirit. This God-designed third part has a specific capability. Our spirit can contact, receive, and experience God. Blaise Pascal, the famous French scientist and mathematician, said that within mankind is a God-shaped vacuum. Only God can fit into this vacuum. As long as our spirit is empty without God, we cannot obtain true satisfaction. Only He can answer the longing of our third part. When God gets into our spirit, He fills its aching emptiness with Himself as our real enjoyment, wealth, and meaning. We are finally and lastingly satisfied with the eternal and divine life of God. God took some monumental steps so that He could enter our spirit. He became a man named Jesus Christ. Jesus lived a perfect human life on the earth, died to take away our sins, was buried, and then rose from the dead. When He resurrected, He became a life-giving spirit and can now enter our human spirit. He is waiting for you to open to Him. Just turn your heart to God and pray this simple prayer. Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I confess that I am a sinner. Forgive me of all my sins. I open to you. Come into my spirit and fill me with yourself. Lord Jesus, I receive you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us on our journey with Jesus. Tune in next Wednesday as we connect with Christ. Bye-bye. Let's go!